Confucius once said is that the key, the key to leadership and life itself is to speak truth in language and be honest in action. Washington Post, for the first three or so years of the, of the Trump presidency, chronicled falsehoods uttered by the president or tweeted by the president. And they counted up to 20,000 falsehoods coming from the mouth or the pen of the president of the United States. Well, I did the math about the number of days involved, and that comes down to 15 falsehoods a day, every day of his time in office. I, I, I just want you all to know that if only the United States had learned a little bit more from Confucius, we wouldn't have this problem. And that I want to lay on the table that we're learning from each other. Uh, and we ought to continue to. With regard to China, it's been self-evident for uh, uh, decades now that uh, peace in the world in the 21st century is going to be heavily dependent upon United States and Chinese relations. Uh, and we're going to have to, in both, both camps, uh, put a great deal of, of emphasis on, on caution. Uh, and I, I think uh, we can come through this. And, and my own view is that uh, U.S.-Chinese relations can, can make the world better as well as our own countries better. But there will definitely be a change in how we handle our international relationships. First and foremost, I think the tone of all governments, including China, will be far more diplomatic and strategic. And with respect to cooperation that the president has enumerated as his goal, he has mentioned climate, world health, and denuclearization as areas where he believes our interests converge in enabling our two governments to work constructively together. He has stated that any progress in these key areas will require collaboration of the world's two largest economies. So if we look at the bottom lines for US-China relations during the first six months of the Biden administration, I think first, uh, don't expect a great deal, uh, you know, a great revival of uh, uh, an era of comedy and uh, high level uh, uh, dialogue platforms and that kind of, you know, a, a rapid re-embrace uh, going back to perhaps the Obama administration strategy. Uh, as I think we heard last night and as uh, I've tried to communicated in the last few minutes, uh, Biden has higher priorities uh, that are domestic uh, and that are broadly international rather than narrowly US-China bilateral. These conversations, uh, I think, are, as uh, Chinese colleagues have noted, very crucial right now. Um, our two countries will be competitive but it's the job of groups like these uh, to do what they can to make sure that uh, our competitiveness does not become combative. 